I'm here at uh, Mountain Cycle Works in Asheville. You know, you guys know I love this shop. I'm always hanging out here because these guys are cool and they're not like a dealership. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got Chip here, the guy in the red. Yeah, and he's been traveling. How long have you been on the road, Chip? About three months, about 20,000 miles. Yeah, I think he's living on his bike or something. Anyways, the thing fucked up on him. 100 miles out of here? Crunch. Last Crunch. <laughs> yeah, last night he calls me up. He's stuck. But he calls Mike up here, who's uh, half owner of this shop. And uh, didn't you go pick him up this morning? 7 o'clock this morning. I left the house, come here, get the truck, the trailer. Picked him up. 50 miles of free towing. So I, haven't so told, I, I, I haven't picked up the other 50. Yeah. <laughs> So you do, so you kind of, guys who are on the road, you kind of take care of them quickly. I've noticed that before when they've come in here. Take care of them quickly. So what we got is, we got his, he lost a... You tell uh, him what happened. Yeah, what happened? Tell you me what happened. You were running it hard all fucking day I long. was running it hard all day like a bastard. Doing the dragon, doing uh, moonshine at 28. You know, more or less redlining it all day. And, and when you took it easy, on I'm at 2,000 RPMs on a red light taking off and uh, crunch. Crunch, just nothing. Couldn't shift through. I could shift through all the gears, and they all sounded the same. <laughs> Neutral sounded fine. <laughs> so here it is on the lift. We got my bike over here, right? I'm doing some stuff to it. But it turns out his pulley stripped all the teeth out of the inside. Well, the bolt, the nut come loose. The nut that holds the pulley on? That's the belt drive pulley, see? We're looking at it here. That nut that holds it on. And that pulley slides right on this shaft and then goes to the belt to the back wheel, right? Now that's uh, it. Now now it's, it's all, it's all, yeah. They don't have no teeth in the middle of that. Does that sound familiar? That sounds familiar. I put about 80 horsepower behind it. That's all you get out of this 95 inch motor? Maybe about 88. I'm gonna get a bunch out of that one. Well, what do you think of that? 100 on torque, though. What do you think of that motor there, Chip? It looks good. Take it for a ride. It's fucked up. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, you have to sit on the seat and just keep spraying heat anyways, in the car. Anyways, what's the phone number here, Mike? 828-785-1872. That's uh, just outside of Asheville, North Carolina. About a mile here. from Asheville Harley-Davidson. Yeah, and Asheville. you'd probably really rather come here. <laughs> I could have <laughs> got a free tow to Harley, and I said, you know what, I'll, I'll get a free tow to uh, 50 miles closer. You'll be out a thousand bucks if you do that, oh. man, plus the tow, you know. Jeez, great. and you'll have to wait, maybe, maybe they'll get it in. Maybe At least you got a couch to sleep on here. I got a couch to sleep you on. got a refrigerator. I said, Boy, what are you going to do? You gonna put him, what are you going to do with him? It's up to him, man. I offered my house. I offered him I, your house. I knew you would <laughs> offer him. Remember I said that? He's going to put you up at his fucking house. I don't know. I, I and he's welcome to stay here. We're in a place across the street. We have a gas station. I might just stay right here and keep her company. Shop always needs a guard dog. Oh, there you go. So you can sleep here with your bike. Yeah, can, yeah there's a couch in the, the back. Yeah. I can but, sit there and detail the bike. It'll take about a week. Find that at Harley Davidson. There's a microwave here. We got a, a fridge right there. We got a garden hose out. Uh, outside, I got hose in different area codes. <laughs> well, there you go then. So here we are, uh, Mountain Cycle it, Works right? in Asheville. Oh yeah, bikes break. Bikes you break. ride them, they they all, they all do that, uh -huh. man. They all do that. Harder you ride them, the quicker uh, they break. That is, I, I've been trying to tell him that, but he don't listen to me, man. Uh -huh. But they break anyway. Yeah. I ride mine easy, ride but I but but I don't I I don't know. I ride it easy. I want it to stay running for a long time. An ear would have caught that. A what? An ear. Oh, yeah. You'd have hear, heard that coming. Yeah, I would have. Like I said, every time it makes a bad noise, I just turn the radio up. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, well, uh, I try to evaluate the noises. You know, if it sounds like a noise that's not going to be a big problem, then I, uh, I blow it off. Mountain Cycle Works. Let's see. showroom back there kind of I think it's just a couple of guys who are mechanics man at least you know what you're getting here at least you know who's working on your bike you know it's always me working on mine when I'm here 